Disclaimer, the commentary YouTubers mentioned in this video are used as an example to talk about criticism from all sides and are not in a way to attack them. Your discretion is advised. Hey guys, on this channel, I'm going to be talking about whatever I want. And today, this video is about a small commentary YouTuber who has a history of making distasteful jokes. His name is Sukuru, and he has been slurring a commentary YouTuber named Harley TBS. And this guy basically just called him out for something Harley Tatum did in the past, which is the problem with cancel culture today, because usually, cancel culture was 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 to be good when you get to cancel somebody for what they did in present day but now that is pointless cancel culture nowadays is nothing but a bunch of retarded cloud chasers who would do anything to gain more subscribers or followers instead of actually providing something of value to get people to watch and that's what Sekiro is doing Okay, so here, Sukuru originally uploaded a video titled Harley TBS is a pedophile, which is not the case since he's not. But of course, Harley TBS came on Twitter and said this to him. Hey dude, no hate. You're free to have your own opinion about me within your video. But I suggest changing your title from Harley is, TBS is a pedophile or I may have to take action. That's a bold face, plain, slenders lie. Yeah, to be honest, I don't. Wow, Sukuru cannot even spell necessarily right. Think you're a pedophile in a title. The title was exaggerated clickbait, so I'll plug a, discla a disclaimer in the description. Sorry. But then. Of course, the con the discussion continued on. Or you can change the title because it's complete misinformation and I will 100% take further action if necessary. I'm not a pedophile and there is no evidence to prove such a plainly untrue claim. Change the title, dude. What the fuck? How dare you criticize my thumbnails when you do this? Fine, sorry, would you rather me change the title to Harley TVS Supports Lolly? Because there's evidence of that. That would also be untrue. My video was never support or approval of Lolly related content. If you watch the clip, you know that. My video was trying to separate Lolly from real content because I felt evaluating a child as the same as a drawing is wrong. But that both are bad. Mm-hmm. How does this in any way affect or disprove what I said? You made a video trying to justify Lolly. Why are you even talking, Trocodyte? Okay, you are just brain dead, Low. Read what I said, fucking dumbass. The screenshot you provided, you literally coincidence with what I said. My video was trying to separate Lolly from real content because I felt valuing a child as the same as a drawing is wrong, but that both are bad. How does my title or thumbnail on that video disprove it? It was a bad video. Mainly, I made it when I was 14 years old. M made it within 20 minutes with no research and put no effort into it. It's almost three years old now. That doesn't mean you can plainly change what I said in it though. So it was like all of your YouTube content Good, got to hear. Seriously, 
You can't even spell good to hear. That is so retarded. Major Kokunyu, you suck at this shift. It's obvious you should go outside more if you think anything you've said or done here is okay. Imagine trying to explain to people in your family that you called someone a pedophile for clickbait. You want to get sued? I don't get called a pedo because I don't jack off to little kid anime like you. At least know how to spell like better as well. Like, geez, take your time. Stop rushing it. This is why our school system is fucking broken. Okay, now you're making more unfounded slanderous claims. Dude, I will literally take this order. If you're capable of any rational thought at all, I'd suggest you shut the fuck up, lol. Why do you want to sue me? Because I said something mean online? Like, bruh, what A, B, the other claims other larger commentators have made in you, your joke. At least finish the word about and take the I out and put an O if you're gonna spell on. <laughs> I mean, Really? Because you made a video calling me pedophile? Does your brain function at all, lol? Imagine if I said, hey guys, sick hero sexually assaults women. It's okay guys, I only said it for clickbait. Would that be okay with you? I mean, if I act did it, then yeah. You missed a point, lol. At Harley TBS. This better? And uh, it shows a screenshot of what Harley TBS was referring to earlier, which is now changed. Which now says Harley TBS supports Lolly. Which, uh, of course, he does not. You know, by looking at these comments, I don't think people agree with you, Chief. Oh no, it's porn and fun. I've been cancelled on Twitter by Ultrail2. LMAO, no matter what old game followers from shit like this and it's amusing so I don't mind. Okay, you shouldn't have a Twitter account if you're 12 years old, which I can now tell Sekiro is probably at least 11 or 12 years old and he shouldn't be using Twitter if he can't spell correctly. Bruh, stop being an immature child. Get a job, YouTube isn't for you. You either, bub. You got mad at a 15 year old for calling you creepy and a pedophile even though you made a video supporting animated CP and then you get mad when the internet criticizes you. I'm 15, but you need to grow up and be held accountable for as actions SMH. As a commentary YouTuber, it is your responsibility actually to not hold someone accountable for their past actions. You're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to hold someone accountable for, for their current actions. Meaning what happens right now, not back then. If you held someone accountable for what they did back then, that doesn't even so solve or help or improve anything. Okay? Harley TBS has mentioned this multiple times in the past. He addressed it this long before. And if you are going to make a fucking video falsely accusing him or anyone else, of what they didn't pass, then you do not deserve to be on this platform. Because you don't know how to use cancel culture the correct way, which is to cancel someone that they did in the current day of that current year, 
not what they did in the past. That's what, that's how cancel culture works. And that's how it's supposed to work. And that's how it should have worked. It shouldn't work the opposite way around when you cancel someone for what they did in the past. That's just stupid. I'm serious. Like, hasn't anyone learned about around the time when Vine was popping off and then and then every news media outlets were actually reporting on the story that happened in 2014 where uh, Nash Greer for example back then said likely the n-word or the f-word like that happened that then and he apologized for it why because it happened in the current day of that current year in 2014 so if you want to cancel somebody for what they did do it the correct way like everyone did back then because right now it's all a mess and what you're doing, Sakuru, is is damaging and irresponsible. Like, grow the fuck up. Anyway, here's the first video in question of what uh, led to this. My lazy ass hasn't really been doing much And I've actually been planning on making this video for a few months And you know, obviously I fucking didn't But today's video, we're gonna be ranting about Harley TBS and why I don't like them And just to clarify, they use they, them pronouns and all that shit I don't really like that stuff, but So I don't get cancelled like I did on the Otray Alp shit I'll actually refer to them as they Let's just get into the first topic, I wanna talk about that Alright, so basically Harley TBS is very well known for doing something which is very disliked in the commentary community. So basically, what they decide to do is they decide to go on a three minute rant talking about how you should follow them on Instagram, follow their Twitter, subscribe to the YouTube channel, join the YouTube team, you know, all this bullshit that no one gives a flippity floppity fuck about, literally just to suck the dicks of their followers for more attention and clout. And this makes them look like a little dog waiting to be I mean, yeah, people <clears throat> in this community does do that all the time. I, however, do not. Do I see a problem with that? Of course. If I don't go on the internet and complain about about that when when you, of course, have to slander Harley TBS. Which we're about to hear right now. Be fed. They are the most pick me YouTube channel I have seen in a very long time. It makes them look so pathetic, it's actually funny. Then after they are done, you know, sucking their followers' dicks, they decide to post 10 minutes of footage talking about something they don't know shit about. They're basically a money-hungry YouTuber who pulls whatever they can out of their ass just to get more views and money off of YouTube. Pretty scummy, isn't it? It's actually so annoying because they get so much attention and so much publicity when they do a video on something they don't actually care about or put any effort into at all. You're the one who's getting attention by falsely accusing people for for being a pedophile. Like really. Sukuno, so, you are the next Amy Schumer. At all. Say I make a shit post, right? And I post it, it gets a hundred views, and people are like, Skiro, why the fuck did you post this? For Harley TBS's channel. That's every video. And you know, they get comments like, Oh my god, Hartley, you're the best commentator ever. Best T channel. And I aspire to be like you when I grow up. See, no, I think I would rather literally kill <laughs> because a bunch of his followers are brain dead idiots. He's also just flat out hypocritical in his content. He'll go around. You are also hypo hypocritical of calling out people the right way. Around making videos on people that are weirdos and say, Well, you're cringe, you're goofy. And then you take a look at his channel and, uh, yeah, like I really want to know what the point of putting an anime girl with white liquid on their face was on a thumbnail. But if you want to take an actual deep dive into pure... See, this is slender right there. You showed a an old video that has been privated or deleted 
from his channel that he already addressed a long time ago. Why the fuck would you do that? Slandering people like this. Cringe and cancer. Instead of taking a one-way trip to St. Joseph's Hospital, just take a look at some of their other thumbnails. For example, uh, these YouTube ads are insane. Or, uh, Yersha Russia was fired from Hulu Live. Or maybe a theory on art, shameless bigot. Now, if you couldn't tell, I, I could do this all day. But I think the point where it got really bad was when they made a video saying that Lolly isn't CP. <laughs> now, I'm not going to explain what CP is for, for, you know, uh, YouTube taking down my video reasons. Let's just say CP equals not good, you know, COD points. And in this case, COD points are illegal. Very very illegal. Anyway, as I was saying, Creepshow posted a video literally defending it, saying, oh, it's okay, it's not bad, I support it. And, you know, obviously this video did end up getting taken down because they realized, oh shit, this is fucked up. However, I think the real problem is when someone archived it and reposted it, they decided to get the video taken down. Instead of being held accountable for your actions, you decided to take the pussy way out and actually just try to avoid them. However, the issue is you can't avoid your past, you can't avoid your problems. They are real things. So I am aware that Harley TBS did apologize for this, but you still did it. Like, I mean... Then why did you fucking make this? Take it down, jackass. And sorry doesn't mean everything, you know? Let me just end off the video by saying I do not hate this YouTuber. They have made some fucked up decisions and I do not support them. However, I don't actually hate many people. I'm keeping this video short because I've literally run out of things to say. I'm gonna try to upload more if I can. If I don't, I'm probably just being lazy. Then keep being lazy. Do not upload. In fact, quit. You're a terrible YouTuber. And of course... Sekiro... Uh tweeted Harley TBS new video because he did that the following day after his latest video was up. It is titled Harley TBS is the world's biggest snowflake and uh, this person said this. This has got to be some of the pettiest shit I've ever seen. You were literally slandering him and accusing him of outright being a pedophile and then supporting Lolly. And she quotes, You don't like that I accused you of an illegal crime and slander you? Such a snowflake. Grow the fuck, grow the hell up. And uh, yeah, that is basically why this commentary YouTuber right here, Sekiro, should not be in the commentary community because he is the worst commentary channel of all time and all he can do is make pointless jokes for laughs aka cyberbully Yo guys, what's up? It's Skiro back with another video. Now, if you know my lazy ass, you know it's very weird that I'm posting three videos within a week. But so much juicy drama just happened on Twitter, I kind of had to. And I'm already certain a good amount of you know what happened, but let's just go over it. Yesterday, I posted a video on why I don't like Harley TBS. And in the title of the video, I called Harley TBS a pedophile. Was this a smart decision? Fuck no. But of course it wasn't smart. It was a... Very low IQ dumb decision. If you know me and my peanut sized brain, I don't like to think things through. And actually, then you should have thought things through. This is why our broken school system, and I'll say this again this is why our broken school system is broken. Because people like Sekiro do not know how to get a passing grade. They are the type of people that get an F every time in either math, English, science, history, art, and so much more. In actuality, Harley TBS isn't a pedophile. They're a fucking snowflake. However, the reason I did call them a pedophile was because you called him Snowflake after he called you out, which I showed all the tweets. From your conversation to his conversation. All the tweets don't lie. He called you out. You should have apologized. Because they made a video in the defense of Lolly, which is animated child's cod points. That video is no longer on 
the platform. You do realize that now, right? Which, yeah, was it an over-the-top statement? Probably, yeah. Then why, why did your stupid ass make it in the first place? For clout, views, money? Because, guess what? You're not gonna be the next optimist and reach a million subs. Yeah, but it's also the internet. They didn't come at any of the other creators that were... It's also the internet, but that doesn't mean that... It's also the internet, so I get to slander somebody, which you did. Criticizing them for this. Only me. Only the small creator that can't do anything about it, and that's kind of fucked up. And I- Harley will do something about it. He said he will sue you, and he will. He will take le legal action, just watch. It will happen. And you will lose your channel. He will issue a takedown. I will admit when I was wrong. I shouldn't have called them a pedophile. That's on me. However, I'm not going to just ignore the fact that they tried to justify Lolly. And now because they can't... Once again, as I have mentioned in the last part of it, Harley TBS already has mentioned and addressed what happened in the past. He already has. can't handle being criticized, I'm getting sued. That's right, they're threatening to sue me, because I- Because you slander him. That's what he did. You slander him for absolutely no reason, because you were too lazy to look back at what he said in the past. All you want to do is make videos like this for clout. Because I called him a pedophile. I honestly don't understand how top tier commentators can't handle getting criticized. Like, it's your literal fucking job. It is. It is our little fucking job. But it's not our literal fucking job to slander others, which is what you're doing. You're slandering other people. And you're a commentator. It's not your job to slander people. It's your job to take criticism, which I'm giving you now. Take down that fucking video. And the funniest thing is I don't think they even realize that I'm clowning them on Twitter. Like, they're calling me immature. Yeah, I'm- Yes, you are immature. Glad you meant it. Obviously I'm immature. Did you not see what I changed the title of the video to? I literally did that shit because it was fucking funny, bro. It's not funny. It's serious. And it can hurt somebody. In the long run. So, do yourself a favor. And do him a favor. And take down your first video you made on Harley TPS that you changed the title into that he likes Lolly you now. And it's really funny because you can't cancel someone who doesn't give a shit. So all that all these tweets are doing is just giving me more negative publicity, which is literally what I wanted from posting that video. I mean, why do you think I was responding to the tweets in such a douchey way? Because no matter what, even if I get negative publicity, I will still gain some positive publicity from people who agree with my opinions on that. So in a way, you kind of just gave me a shout out. But anyway, I woke up this morning to my video, you know, blowing up. And by blowing up, I mean a bunch of mean comments coming from Twitter people. And you know, after seeing my views shoot up, I sporadically went onto my crusty ass keyboard, typed in Harley TBS and checked their community tab to see if they made any posts about me. They didn't, so I went over to Twitter, and I saw this. Hey dude, no hate. You're free to have your own opinions about me within your video, but I'd suggest changing your title from Harley TBS as a pedophile where I may have to take legal action. See, that's just a fucking stupid claim. You want to take legal action on me because I called you a pedophile. I he wants to take legal action on you because you are slandering him by... Using the word pedophile, which is a serious, serious accusation, which can put you in and your channel in jeopardy if you slander somebody, somebody like that. Don't do it. I did have a justifiable reason to call you a pedophile, though. Even if it was an old reason, you. St you have a justifiable reason. All you want is views and cloud because you don't know how to actually be funny or entertaining and you don't know how to engage with people you still did justify lolly in the past which... and you are likely s s 
still justifying that you want to ruin someone's life. All because you are claiming that you're making a joke when it's not a joke at all. It is slander. Which is clearly not okay. And the fact that you're threatening to take my video down because I called you out for it even though it was years ago doesn't help your case. It does. Because you're slandering him for a video that he already at least privated a long time ago. And he is going to take you down. And I fucking hope he will. I support Harley TBS and I hope he will take it to account. By suing your ass. By issuing a YouTube to take down your video. Because you made something that is not okay. And nobody wants to be with a commentator who slanders people. Even their own community. And I think the funniest part of this is they literally made a tweet with a screenshot of my video saying, I think I need to sue someone, lol. Like, yeah, Harley, I think you need to also get your panties out of a bunch. God damn, it's a YouTube video. I feel like... It's... It's a YouTube video, live slanders, lies, genius. Like, you wouldn't be making this big of a deal out of it if it wasn't true. Like, I'm sorry, but the way you're acting just makes me seem like I was more right. And I know this video is going to get a fuck ton of hate because I know all of your fan base is a bunch of brain dead idiots. Who just wait until Harley's brain dead idiots report your channel because it's going to happen. Say goodbye, motherfucker. Who can only listen to blatant lies, but you know what? That is perfectly fucking fine by me. And I'm gonna milk the fuck out of this situation because it's gonna give me attention. Why the fuck not? I don't really care if that's scummy. I also. Man, you don't know how to be a good YouTuber. A good commenter YouTuber, perhaps. So just flat out have nothing else to commentate on, so thank you, Harley, for the content. And while I was trolling Harley TBS, I decided to change the title of my video. The original title of the video was Harley TBS is a pedophile, however, I changed it to Harley TBS supports Lolly. They didn't like it when I did that, but I don't even care, really. If any other information I can make a video on comes up, I will let you guys know. I'll keep you guys informed. How about you don't inform people and just delete your existence on this YouTube platform. Nobody from the commentary community wants you here. You are irrelevant and you will never be the next optimist. You'll never be popular. You'll be irrelevant, unpopular, and you'll be the lowest life of the low. If you're going to give a commentary YouTuber some criticism, that's fine. Do that. But if you're going to give a non- verbal meaningless criticism by saying what they've done in the past instead of what this commentary YouTuber did currently, then don't bother giving them criticism for it. Because every commentary YouTuber already gave their takes nearly three years ago about Harley TBS when he talked about Wally. Clearly, you should know better than to keep reviving your dead channel, which will never get anywhere. You will be at 2k subscribers forever if you don't change the way you act on this platform.